we're back for another exciting episode of The Spicy Life. I am your relationship expert and magnetic matchmaker, Spicy Madi. And on today's episode of The Spicy Life, we are talking about how important is physical attraction, all right? And I have a special guest in store for you to join me in the G spot. I have Dr. Partovi, and she is going to chime in on this deep, deep, scary, but like very important conversation about beauty, brains, physical attraction, and do we need it? How important is it? So let me give you a little bit of information about Dr. Partovi. Welcome, welcome. Thank the crowd you. goes wild for you. Um, so happy to have you, but let me like let them know how bomb you are, okay? <laughs> Dr. Partovi is a Los Angeles native. She went to CSUN for undergrad, NYU for dental school, and Jacksonville University for her specialty in orthodontics. She's been in practice for over 13 years. She prides herself on offering braces for $19.99 throughout her Southern California offices, reaching communities that never thought they could afford braces for themselves and their children, all right? And as someone who had braces, yeah. <laughs> the world needs you, trust me. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to deep dive into this juicy conversation about physical attraction, uh, but first I have to warm you up with a very spicy question, right? This is what I call my spice breaker. You're first going to share with us when you first fell in love with yourself. Oh, I first fell in love with myself. Um... Let's see, I'd say about six years ago. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it was recent. Recent. Okay. It was Love recent. It. Um, you know, when you go to professional school like this, you're, you're like this. Yeah. So your maturity gets stunted. You graduate, you're in school the whole time, and then you graduate when you're like 30 years old, and yeah. all of a sudden you're like out in the world. All your friends are like married, they've got kids, and you're just coming out of this bubble, and you're like, sure. you might as well be like 18. <laughs> so. I had some bumpy, bumpy roads and I dated some people who did not have the best interest for me mm -hmm. and took advantage of things. Ooh. But um, through a lot of therapy, Good my yes. family support, am I allowed to talk about ayahuasca? Yes. A talk little bit of ayahuasca. <laughs> uh, talk about a deep dive. Came out on the other side and realized I'm freaking great. Right. I am awesome. Incredible. I love me. And I then started to attract what I deserved. Wait, look at <laughs> Dr. Over here is already living the spicy life, okay? <laughs> it's why I had to have you on the show. Uh, super excited about your journey with love, but also you really understand, I feel like, and have insight into people who are coming to you all the time, um, really trying to upgrade their beauty. And um, I want to like first start with what exactly is physical attraction. I feel like you are going to know the scientific version better, but I'm going to like go for it. And you tell me how dead on it is, right? Okay. So physical attraction is the physiological changes in the body that release chemicals like dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. It also activates the orbital cortex of the brain. And these physiological, physiological changes can trigger emotional and behavioral changes. Yes. So that was like the, the nerdy scientific the nerd definition. Science. <laughs> the nerd science. Break that down for me, in okay? <laughs> in layman's term, from the physical part, um, our brains are wired to see symmetry. Okay. Um, our brains are wired to see, to be attracted, for, from a female standpoint, to be attracted to the strong alpha male who is going to take care of us, kill the mammoth. Caveman. Caveman, Conquer. you know, who's going to keep us warm in the winter and, you know, take care of us. So... Obviously, those are very black and white gender roles. Yeah. I'm not generalizing in that sense. But from a beauty aspect and from a health standpoint, we're attracted to health. Yep. You're not attracted to someone who needs work or who is not healthy, mm -hmm. who's exuding illness. Yeah. So when someone's smile is healthy, you're attracted to that because you're mm. like, that person takes care of themselves. Yes. When their skin is clear, you're attracted to that person. Correct. If someone's kind of frumpy and doesn't take care of themselves, it's not cute. Well, it tells you um, from a physical standpoint that not only do they not take care of themselves, but like if I were to reproduce, right? Because that's like plays a huge role exactly. in our sexual attraction and our physical attraction to them. Like, can I mate with this person? Can I breed with this person? And if they don't take care of themselves, they also aren't going to take care of me. And they also aren't going to take exactly. care of our potential offspring. Exactly. And so this is something that I am oftentimes challenged with at the spicy life. I have amazing, incredible, beautiful spirits that come in. And this is why this episode was so important to me was because um, I have this exercise that I do called the pizza where we start with like the crust, which is what are the core values? Um, what makes us a good person, right? Like I would ask my client, what, what, what do you define as a good person? And then they give me five qualities. And then the sauce is 
Now talk to me about how the person has to treat you. Like what's the behaviors that will make you fall in love with them? What's the courtship look like? And then the toppings is a physical attraction. That's where you get to put like all mm -hmm. the yummy deliciousness. But oftentimes people want to lean into the physical attraction. Right. They don't start with the values or the treatment. They care about the looks and that gets us in trouble sometimes. Yep. <laughs> Been there, done that. But the looks are important. The looks, looks are, are important. important. We can't ignore those, right? Absolutely. Looks are important, but like you said, there has to be some meat on the bone. It's gotta, it's yeah. gotta sustain. There's gotta be depth. And the hard part is, is you can be an amazing, beautiful soul, but if you don't have the exterior looking more polished, right? it's harder for people to believe or buy into what you're selling and even dedicating time to like, let me get to know this person if the physical attraction doesn't exist. So my next topic is like, what contributes to physical attraction? Um, and I wanna break down for you these things. So like you mentioned earlier, smile, right? So facial features is mm -hmm. one of them. Um, that would be like nose, cheekbones, jaw. So it's symmetry. You know, I don't subscribe necessarily to Instagram beauty. Okay. Anybody can be beautiful mm. as long as they're taking care of themselves, mm. as long as they're healthy and they're shining from the inside out. Yep. That to me is beauty. So I've, beauty follows function. So if you're healthy and you're taking care of yourself, you automatically become beautiful. Mm. But if you aren't born with symmetry, though, that's different. You can you get a little help. Okay, so then that's where so we you help are you out. Pro, you are pro. Like, let's do something about that. If you're pleased with the lack of symmetry, um, and I was born with the lack of, I guess, me too. Teeth symmetry. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm all for health fixing it up. I'm just saying you don't have to go to the like extreme. The extreme. But absolutely, looking healthy and getting a little help where it's needed. I'm not even gonna lie. I had my nose done. Oh really? I it had my nose great. done. I had my teeth. I had braces. Absolutely, because to me, that's how I needed what I needed to do to feel beautiful. And so it's really about like doing those little touch ups that will make you feel more confident. Absolutely. Um, so that you can feel as if you know, right? Because we need you to know that you are beautiful, but sometimes you have a hard time buying into it if you aren't pleased necessarily with what you see in the mirror. So of course, like you guys got to do the internal work, but this is not an episode about doing the internal work. I talked to you guys about that 24 seven of <laughs> you are tired out of me telling you how much internal work you need to do. I am now addressing something that we sometimes can be complacent and sometimes even um, over obsessed with, right? Like the extreme opposite. And what I notice is that us as women subscribe more to the social constructs of beauty or even buying into beauty being our social capital. Whereas my male clients and men, not as much. Mm. And they need it more because women we want, want physical attraction now. <laughs> So we're going to deep yes. dive into that part in just a second. But the other elements are um, physical dimensions. Mm -hmm. And is that what you were saying? Symmetry is mm -hmm. physical dimension. Okay. And then facial expressions, right? Yep. So the, um, maybe the dents in our smile or like our eyes smizing, um, what facial expressions are you showing when you're going out on a date or when you are intrigued or interested in what the person is saying? Are you nodding your head? Are you creating, you know, wrinkles on your forehead? Um, the hugest one that I noticed is people not smiling. Absolutely. Absolutely. Resting bitch face ain't going to get you anywhere. Nada. <laughs> Nada. Nope. And if, you know, we smile, it says, you know, hello, welcome. Come join me in this conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued with what you're saying. But also if I give you a smile and I'm like, ching, you'll smile back. Exactly. And now we feel more safe and comfortable with each Absolutely. other. But why do you think people aren't smiling as much? Because they're embarrassed of their teeth. I've had for 13 years, I've had people come to me and they they talk like this. They they smile like this. They talk like I this. I do notice they chew some people like doing that. When they laugh really big, my own mom used to do that for years. Mm -hmm. When she would smile, she'd cover her mouth like that. And after we take the braces off and everything is nice and perfect, they become a whole new person. All of a sudden, they start doing their hair. They lose weight. <laughs> they dress better. I have one guy <laughs> who went to law school. Like life changing things start to happen because they start smiling and they're inviting the world in now with their smile. So how do you feel about also like bleaching your teeth? Um, cause I will tell my clients like, yeah, let's clean, let's, oh, let's get a brighter, wider smile. Absolutely. 
Yeah, yeah. we do that with the braces. See, the this whole is thing. what I'm talking about, right? So growing up, I had crooked teeth and I didn't want to get braces, but one of the most like valuable things that I feel like my mom could have done for me was force my butt to get those braces. And I had this silver chunky one yeah. and I used to wear the rubber bands with the colors on them to match my outfits. <laughs> uh, I was crazy with it. I think I even went through like a glow in the dark phase, but my sister, my brother, and my mom went and got it. All of us, all my siblings. So I've already warned my husband that we'll be coming to you for the baby We're in because <laughs> he's going to get probably my It'll be our pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's also non-visual cues that uh, also like feed into physical attraction. And then there's also evolutionary psychology, which like is more around, um, I think what you were touching on, like what the physical beauty shows um, and how it shows like the youthfulness, right? Mm -hmm. The physical health, the mental and emotional well-being and strength. And I think that's what you were kind of talking mm -hmm. about earlier when you were talking about like the biological way that our body connects with it and wanting to mate with someone. Right. Um, but is that primitive notion like does that still exist because that's so old school you feel like that still till this day we matters st we still have that primal brain we still have fight or flight as much as we you know it's still in there yeah. we're still running off of that primal brain as much as we want to think we're evolved that cro magnon man is still in there <laughs> and it controls a lot of our life so that instinct we have yeah that all of a sudden you walk into a room and this one not that one it's in there so let's talk about that this one not that one right um, like we had said earlier, it's also about energy and confidence, but when we're selecting someone based on physical attraction, and I feel like there's things that help boost, right? We can, we can do something about our fashion. We can make sure we do our hair, clear our mm -hmm. skin, fix our teeth. Um, uh, maybe you're taking off your glasses and you're getting contacts or LASIK. Like there's a ton of different things that you can do for just these little touch-ups. Um, but there's also the notion of just accept me as I am. Mm -hmm. What would you say for those people who are like, no, I don't want to do all that. Just accept me as I am. What are they left to do? Then, you know, there, that's okay. They can be as they are. If they're confident and they're happy with who they are, they will find their match. I feel like energetically, everyone has their match. Mm -hmm. So if you are putting in the effort, you're going to find someone who's also putting in the effort. That part. Okay. So what <laughs> Dr. Patobi just touched on is um, if you want the whole accept me as I am, she mentioned though the word work. <laughs> A lot of us don't want to work for it. We want it to just fall on our lap. So not only do we not want to do the self-maintenance or the self-care that's necessary, we also don't want to have to speak to someone. We also don't want to have to go above and beyond in our courtship. We also don't want to have to put ourselves out there. We also don't want to have to, you know, go out a night that we don't feel like it. When she's saying work, there's also the element of, um, well, if you don't want to be on the dating apps, what are you doing to supplement that, right? Um, what are you doing for self-growth? What are you doing for your mental health? How are you pouring into yourself? And also, what are you doing on a daily basis to make connections? So I just want to make sure that when she, she said the word work, that you guys are understanding that there is the accept me as I am. I don't have to put extra maintenance maybe into my beauty. However, I'm not with that. I'm against that because people are my products. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> to make you the most marketable and sellable, I need you to have that bomb maintenance. Right. Then you have to be willing to accept somebody else who's take me as I am. You can't expect someone to be, you know, looking great all the time when you're not. Yep. So you got to find your match. So if you don't want to put in any effort, well, then you're going to be happy with someone who's not. I think that also too, when it comes to like dating, the interesting part about this, because you were saying earlier, um, you walk into a room and you're like, okay, who do, who do I want? Who am I choosing? Right. Where does my mind go? Um, part of what is crazy is, and I'm going to get to the list for you guys in just a second of how we date now um, and how our priorities have changed in what we're looking for, right? There's like 10 things that have changed historically about what's most important to men and women. And I'm going to go through that list for you guys in just a second. But like, I don't think that people understand how to identify when they are physically attracted, like what their body is essentially going through. And there is this, we call it chemistry, right? Mm -hmm. But part of feeling this chemistry um, I think is also the physical attraction. Do I not only want to take this person's clothes off, but um, how do I feel when I'm around them? Yes. So there's this um, 
heart rate that speeds up. Mm -hmm. There's um, hot flashes that you may be getting. There may be a uh, sense of safety, safety, security. Yes. Um, and sometimes even the opposite, which is nervous around them, I think too, will like contribute to whether, oh my God, like I want this person to want me back. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a roller coaster ride of emotions. The part that I always try to warn my clients about is what you don't want is someone to feel indifferent towards you. Right. You don't want someone to feel like, eh, I can take them either way. They're just okay. No. That's the worst feeling. <laughs> you want to be number one. You want to be, you want to feel like they can't live without you. Just like you can't live without them. How did you get your husband to can't live without you? So, <laughs> give the secret. We met on Tinder. Okay. Talk yeah. about dating apps. We met on <laughs> Tinder and it was, you know, he looked in my pictures. I looked in his and I'm a big music fan, big Metallica, Pearl Jam, you know, big fan. So I had a picture wearing my Metallica t-shirt under my lab coat going like this. And he saw that and he was just like, who are you? Where did you come from? And you know, he had pictures that I was attracted to, except his teeth were crooked. I'm not even going to lie. And I'm like, okay, I can fix that part. Like that I can work with. Mm -hmm. There are some things you can fix and there's some things that are solid that you can't change. Yep. If you don't like the guy's mother, well, that's, you know, not changing one. that one. But his teeth, <laughs> I can do that. I love my mother-in-law, by the way. <laughs> She's just listening right FYI. now. FYI. <laughs> so how did I get, I didn't, I was just me. I have to tell you, was I taking care of myself? 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Was I getting my blowouts? Was I getting my roots done? Was it working out? Was I eating clean? Was I focusing on myself? 100%. And he came in and our lives just flowed nicely together. You were able to merge. He, you were able to merge because he was doing his part. And now, and you were talking about this with me earlier before the show started, he is a part of your practice though, yes, right? Yes, he is the director so of operations. Also work with your husband. Um, and that's like such an interesting dynamic, how you did a little mini transformation on him and then also got him plugged into your business. And now he's working with you. So you guys are doing the power couple thing. We are. And that's part of the reason I was attracted to him. I'm like, he's the executive operations guy. I have the visions. Sometimes he has that we bring them together yep. and then he executes. So that for me works. See, and I love that you didn't like exclude him because of a physical thing that you could change. Um, I don't want you guys to think that we're like, Ooh, change this person. Cause I'm not pro take on a project. I am though be realistic. If the person has the core values and they treat you incredible, yeah. the aesthetics can always be worked on. Right. And if you guys are listening right now and you're wondering, um, Hmm, what are the aesthetics that I can potentially work on? I'm going to cover that in part two of this episode <laughs> with Dr. Portovi, but, um, I want to get into the things that people need for physical attraction. So I'm going to give you a list, right? That I got from GQ of what men are looking for when it comes to physical attraction. And some of these things, some of these core things overlap with women. So, um, let me go through these 10 things. Okay. Uh, number 10 at the top of, uh, well, number 10 is last number one is one, but so number 10 on the list for you guys who are listening is ambition and industriousness. What does that mean to you? Ambition and I don't like it. I could have done this. I should have done that. Ooh, no, the doer. Uh, They're out there doing it. So you guys listen, don't talk about it. Be about it. Okay. That is uh, number 10 on the list of what people are looking for when it comes to the physical attraction, the desire for you. Uh, number nine, desire for home and children. That's still really popular. Yeah. People, you know, there's a group of people who don't want kids and I hope that they find each other. And then there's people who do, and that's, part of that primal brain is yep. to procreate. Yep. So. Do you have a nurturing bone in your body? And then how do you demonstrate that? Right. Um, cause I also think that while you're dating, there are cues that you can give to show that you have maternal and paternal instincts, um, that let the person buy into the idea of being able to spend a future with you. I'm sure at a certain point you maybe served your husband a plate or, uh, I don't know, cut his hair or uh, fixed his teeth. Like you oh, said. Are you <laughs> food is my love language. <laughs> I'm like, if I love you, I'm cooking for you. I'm feeding you nonstop. So I like turn into my grandmother and. Oh, okay. Uh, you got to have me and the hubby over there. Oh yeah, most definitely. And I'm putting food on your plate. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love it. That's exactly, yeah, I'm the same way. I actually uh, love serving my husband, but he's so particular. He's like, man, give me this plate. Let me do it myself because you're not, you, let me pile this on. And it's so funny. He will take over and then now well, he's making my plate. <laughs> um, number eight on the list, good looks. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Portobi's onto something, okay, you guys? Um, when it comes to good looks, so the trait jumped seven spots. In 1956, it was number 15 on the list for fellas, and now it has jumped all the way to number eight. And then for ladies, it jumped all the way from number 18 to number 12. I blame dating apps. So <laughs> um, that is exactly part of what has happened is like now having access to mm -hmm. a plethora of people that were inundated with um, beauty overload who we wouldn't have had access to mm -hmm. before because historically it would have been within your own community within your social circle but now you have access to people who are essentially maybe out of your league i'm gonna say this guys the great thing is you can move leagues by mm -hmm. simply doing the self-maintenance should you choose right um <laughs> this is why dr Batobi's for refreshing exists um but <laughs> The um, other element and the main contributor is that now we live in a time where women are wanting physical attraction even more than ever before because we are more self-sufficient mm -hmm. and can provide for ourselves. So before when it was just like, I just want protector provider, now it's like, no, that's not fair. Physical attraction is extremely important for him and it is for me as well. And we're owning that. The hard part with that though is that men, one, don't put in the same maintenance as us, as women, and then two, we're also harder critics. Mm -hmm. So men yeah. go, as hard as it is to believe, men aren't as anal when it comes to how they define beauty as how we define beauty. Oh yeah, we're a lot harder on ourselves than they are. What? Way harder. What? It's like a crazy difference. That's why they say women get dressed for other women. We sure do, because <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I hit my friends up for the compliments before I even like mm. turn to my husband. I'm like, he's gonna think I look good, whatever I put on, but it's my girls. I need to know if I look cute enough to step out. I can't stand when they say that, by the way. <laughs> you look good. You put something on, you put a lot of effort. You look good all the time. No, I wanna know I look good now. Give me a new affirmation <laughs> right this very moment. Not all Have them stored in your back pocket. <laughs> I feel like he has started to like learn to do that, right? Just compliment me uh, out of nowhere so that that way he's already made so many deposits <laughs> that like, <laughs> they, they're just like good to go, ready to go. And I don't need to like beg for any anymore. I love, I love my boo. Shout out to my husband, Shay. <laughs> yeah. um, next element, and this g goes back to your profession, good health. Mm -hmm. That's number seven on the list for what people are looking for when it comes to um, a mate and what they find extremely attractive. Good health. And that was similar to what you were talking about when you're like, okay, what do you put in your body? What are you feeding yourself? Mm -hmm. um, how are you showcasing that you are in good health? Are you um, physically fit? Are you doing things for your mental health, but also your physical health? Right. So next one is sociability. Um, how personable are you? Can I take you out? Um, can I bring you places? Then pleasing disposition. Are you friendly and agreeable? Are you a likable person? Number four is education and intelligence. And this actually moves up the list for men. Mm. They want a smarter now. Yep. <laughs> no nice problem. to know all this money on my student loans is paid off. Because um, <laughs> they, they want us educated. But it also speaks to the level of um, mental and um, intellectual stimulation that men are right. now requiring from us. They too want to be able to talk about interesting topics with us and um, be able to be intrigued and fascinated. Just the same, like we want to learn from them. They want to learn from us now too. It's become a real partnership, I think. Yeah. It's not just like... I talk to my guys, you talk to your girls yep. and we just have sex and make babies. And that's, nope. you know, we pass, you know, what is it? Two ships in the night kind yep. of thing. It's a <laughs> real partnership now. So you both want to be stimulated. This is what we've been working towards. Next one on there. Number three is emotional stability and maturity. Men and women both agree that they need this to be more attracted to you. And then next number two is dependable character. They want someone they can rely on. Mm -hmm. And then number one, mutual physical attraction. Well, there you go. So to our point earlier, physical attraction is extremely important. This is number one on the list, but not only do men want to desire you, they also want to be desired by the woman as well. And so if you guys are listening and you're questioning, you know, whether maybe you've 
crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's on am I as physically attractive as I can be, I'm not telling you go out and do a million surgeries. I'm not telling you to do anything that is crazy expensive. What I am saying is, is if there's something that you can improve upon that is a quick fix or something that you can um, invest in even that will make you feel more confident about your physical attraction, by all means, please do that. And we can start with teeth. <laughs> Please talk to us a little bit about some of the specials that you have going on. Help my listeners out. Absolutely. Absolutely. So like I said, beauty follows function. So, you know, the point of braces isn't just to make them look pretty. Yes. The side effect is you're going to have a beautiful smile, but the ultimate goal is when you line your teeth up and you're biting in the right position, mm. your teeth are able to self cleanse. You're able to clean them better. You don't get cavities. And as a result, yes, you're more attractive. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a nice side effect to have, um, you know, getting regular cleanings, all of that is super important. Um, what we're offering is we do braces for $1,999. So affordable. I mean, most places are upwards of five, six, seven thousand yeah. dollars anywhere you go yeah. pretty much in the country. My friends are like, what are you doing? Yeah. And the reason we do this is because a lot of people don't have the good insurance that's mm. going to, the PPO that's going to kick, you know, $2,000 towards your braces. Yeah. The majority of people don't have that. People make too much money for Medi-Cal. And if yep. you do have Medi-Cal, which I'm totally all for, you have to be under 18 and you have to have a really jacked up teeth. They have to be really, it has to be a very like severe a medical case. case. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a medical case. Um, and there's a big chunk of our community and in LA, Orange County, Riverside, IE, that fall in between there. Yeah. That you know, it's the single mom who's got two kids and can't afford $6,000 a pop for mm -hmm. each one. So we came up with this system that we literally do braces for $2,000. I love it. So you're going to hook my people up with their little spicy little special and you guys are going to come in. Please ask for Dr. Portovi. Um, I want you to let them know where they can find you and book a consultation. Sure. And we're going to continue talking about physical attraction after this, you guys. We're going to do it on part two so that you can continue learning more about the upkeep of beauty. But let them know where they can find you. All right. We have five locations. We have Los Angeles, Chino, Santa Ana, Santa Clarita, and Woodland Hills, which we're... Hey, yep. in with Pretty close. So uh, our phone number is 310-998-7600. And the name of the practice is 360orthodontics.com. So you can find us at 360orthodontics.com. So excited to have 360 Orthodontics hooking you guys up. Stay tuned for part two of how important physical attraction is because we're going to be talking specifically about smiling. The Spicy Life.